Uh, hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna talk about the Vibrates. Uh, uh, I'm gonna give you the three, and uh, this is gonna be nice and simple, three to the point. Uh, three main factors uh, that the, the issues that you're gonna run with these brakes. And I get into it right now. Now the first one is, uh, is the one uh, rubbing issues. Uh, what happen what's happening is that if you take the wheel, so I'm gonna just do that this way. And let's see. Looks like there's no rubbing issues. However, usually these type of brakes, at one point of time, they're gonna have the rubbing issues. So what's gonna happen, the, 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 the wheel, which is uh, right here, will rub against the pad right here. And this is gonna be a really simple issue. Uh, there is a screw over here. I don't know, if, I think if you see it pretty nicely, what you're gonna do, you're gonna take the uh, screwdriver. And all you have to do is that, you're gonna have to uh, bring out the screw out. So all you gotta do is that you gotta you gotta unscrew the the screw, and what that will do, it will pull the caliper this way. So the less leverage you have on the screw, uh, the more room there's gonna be, so that the caliper can move this way. Uh, likewise, just for the opposite, do the opposite on this side. Uh, there's a screw on uh, on this side here. Here you go. See, there's a screw right there for this side. And there's a screw for the other side, so it's a pretty self-explanatory. Uh, getting this screw adjusted will solve, in most cases, the rubbing issues, unless your uh, wheel set is not true. So if, if the wheel set is not true, it will probably rub on this side. So that's the issue number one. Uh, the issue number two would be that, uh, if you can see this picture here in the video, I should say, they do wear pretty fast. So look over here, I think you can easily see uh, that I have barely a little bit of meat on them. That's the big problem over there and uh, for whatever reason, uh, uh, due to the, uh, if you're a heavier guy and if you lose a lot of uh, stopping power or if you ride the bike in the city like I do, you're going to put a lot of pressure on the front uh, V-brakes and guess what, uh, as a domino effect, you're going to run uh, out of meat here, the brake meat. And the third one, which is gonna be pretty simple here, is the brake slack. And now you come over here, you're gonna come back here, and see, you're gonna disconnect, and you're gonna see if you have any brake slack here. So what, that, what, what happens is, when you pull the brake, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it up, oops, it's this one here. You, you wanna make sure that uh, this is nice and reliable. In this particular case, uh, these uh, V-brakes are a little rusty, so they're not operating in the best uh, possible way. But uh, if you look over here, this is the area where you don't want any uh, brake slack. So, so the, I should say the, the cable slack, because if you look over here, you should be... I have like a little ledge over there, see? See the little... So this should be nice and tight here. You want to make sure at all times... I'm going to pull this rubber off that you have a nice and tight cable here so that you have 100% uh, reliable performance. So if you hit the brake, you wanna make sure that it's reliable in the city like I do my bike a lot in the city and due to all kind of crazy drivers, you wanna have that reliable power. So those are the three main factors that, you, uh, that I always have been running into the V-brakes. Like I said, the meat on the brake pads the rubbing issues with the tiny screw that can be easily fixed and the slack in the cables. And that's pretty much that. I do a lot of videos on the bikes. So look at my playlist on this side and over to the right and down to the uh, south. You can subscribe and uh, look for more videos to come. There you go and have a lovely day. Bye-bye.